I am, uh, I am really concerned about the world that my godson is going to grow up in. Um, I mean, it, like, you know, there's all the things that we worry about, right? Like, as parents and as responsible adults, we, we worry about, like, giving uh, our kids and the, the generation that follows us, like, you know, water that they can drink and uh, uh, atmosphere that will protect them and jobs and, like, you know, we want to make a good, good world for, for them to live in. I'm just trying to get him through, like, the first 12 or 13 years of his life because he is growing up in an era where kids are obsessed with the dumbest shit in the history of mankind. And I say this as a member of the Genera hypercolor t-shirt generation, okay? You know, kids have always been judgy and shitty. It's part of being kids. But the whole swag thing that they're so worried about and the YOLO and the Coney 2012, I'm, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know how he is going to navigate through this world. And I see these older kids these days that are, that are uh, you know, like 13, 14 years old, and they're so worried about that whole concept of swag. The Bieber has a swag coach. How about having a not being a fucking moron in the public coach, Bieber? I do have a lot of sympathy for that poor kid. Like, he's not a kid, he's an industry, and he's never gonna have a normal life, and that's really super sad, and I have a lot of empathy for him, and I just hope that when he crashes his Ferrari, nobody dies. Um, it's not a joke, it's just a sentiment. Uh, so, um, uh, I, um, I'm getting ready to come down to Comic-Con, right? It's our nerd prom, it's geek summer camp. It's like, this is great. Like, this is what we look forward to every year. We're we're going to come down and we're going to be around people who love the same things that we love, the way that we love them. And it's great, right? Like, we're all part of, like, a tribe. It's like a tribal gathering. And we all need to let everybody know kind of, like, which particular part of the tribe we fit into. Like, we're steampunkers or we're Firefly fans or we're, you know, we love DC comics. We love Marvel comics. We love Star Trek. We love the old Star Trek. We love Next Generation because it's the best Star Trek ever will have been. Like... <laughs> And the way that we do that is like, we, you know, we, we, we wave these flags, right? And our banners are like our t-shirts. So like, I fucking love Iron Man and the Avengers. Like long before the, the movies came out, I'm crazy about them, I love them. And Matt Fraction's writing on Iron Man is some of the best comic superhero writing ever. Uh, just the journey that Tony Stark has gone through. And by the way, if you like Fraction and you're not reading Hawkeye, uh, you should leave the theater right now and go start. It's so great. Um, so, uh, I really wanted an Iron Man t-shirt to bring down to Comic-Con, and I realized buying a t-shirt to come to Comic-Con is kind of dumb, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, taking cocaine to the Playboy Mansion, um, but, but I, I, I just, there was this one that I wanted, because I would seen it at Target, right? Um, and, and I knew, I was like, alright, I'm just gonna go get that one particular shirt, you know, with like Iron Man and the Thor, and it's really awesome. So I go to, to the Target to get it, and as I'm walking into uh, to that department uh, to get to like the men's clothes, I go through like, you know, the, the kids' clothes, and there's this 14-year-old kid there, and he's at that age where like, I remember that age, it's hard, like your body hates you, you're right? It's just like, I'm going to make you feel terrible about everything, and you're going to smell weird, and you're going to have a boner all the time and not know why. Oh, and by the way, you're going to be the worst skin you will ever have in your life, so no one will want to talk to you at the time in your life where you want to talk to people more than anything in the world. And what the hell is going on with girls? I don't know. There's another boner. Like, your, your body is just awful to you. It is horrible. And everyone around you is horrible. Children are monsters at that time. And it's not their fault. It's because their body is just like, I'm kind, I'm kind of turning into the Hulk, but I'm also turning into Frank and Weenie at the same time. And I don't know what any of this means. Ah, boner! So... So I see this kid, 14-year-old kid, and he's doing this thing where, the thing where like, you're trying really hard to reason with your parents because you think I can talk to them at their level now. Like, I've grown up a little bit, right? And like, I can do this. And he's like, but, and he's trying not to cry and his mom's just telling him you can't get, he wants this t-shirt that's like Hello Kitty wearing like a gold Run DMC style chain with, and, uh, with like, uh, 
a, a hair, like a big afro, like the guy on the IT crowd, and a big, and and then and then big thick nerd glasses. Uh, and it says like swag and then down the side something in Japanese. It was like someone went, hey, what are all those things the young people like today? Put them all on a t-shirt. All of them? Yeah, all of them. Put them all on there and say it's swag. <laughs> and the kid really wants this and his mom's like, honey, you can't get that. What's unsaid is because it's fucking stupid. Is why you it. And the kid's like, and the kid goes, mom, I gotta keep up my swag at school. My heart just broke for this poor kid. Like, I remember, right? I remember, like, I loved Michael Jackson when I was a kid, which is unfortunate because he could have loved me back if we'd only met. <laughs> and, and, like, I thought Thriller was the coolest record ever. And I had a Michael Jackson Thriller t-shirt, and the kids were so mean to me about it. Um, and, and, like, and there was, and Michael Jackson was the most popular thing in the world back then, right? This kid goes to school in this awful, stupid thing. Everyone's gonna laugh at him, right? And like, like Carrie's mom would be right, okay? That day at school ends in pig's blood. And everybody dying, it's not a good thing for anyone. So the mom is like, doesn't know what to do, and the kid's like really at his wit's end, and I'm like, you know what, I got this. And I walk up to the kid and I go, hey dude, come here. It's just a t-shirt, man. You can't put a lot of your value and a lot of your self-worth into like what t-shirt you're gonna wear. Like I get it, man, t-shirts are cool. I think they're great, I'm here for one. But you can't let what other people are gonna think about you be dependent on the t-shirt that you wear. You can't put so much of your self-worth into the hands of other people who don't even know who you are and don't care and they're just as confused about being cool as you are, man. And this is when I noticed that the Iron Man shirt that I've come to get <laughs> is about to be taken off the rack <laughs> by some fucking mom who's buying it for her kid who doesn't even give a shit about Iron Man, doesn't even know who the Avengers are, didn't even know that Thor existed before the movie, which, by the way, sucked. So, except when they were in Asgard, then it was great. And I see him and I'm like, and you know, the thing is, you had a, believe yourself, and I knock him down, and I run over the thing, and I grab the t-shirt, I punch the mom in the face, and I grab the t-shirt, because fucking YOLO, you guys! YOLO! Thank you. Thanks for letting me tell you jokes. Thanks for coming to Woodstock. <laughs>